Welcome back everyone to another mass adoption tutorial. This time we'll be covering the Ample Fourth Bridge. Now this one I'm really, really excited about. As you know, um, I've covered a lot of Ample Fourth uh, content before and today um, is a really, really cool mechanism that's called the Ample Fourth Bridge that we'll be covering. So basically what the Ample Fourth Bridge is, is um, a way to port over your ERC20 Ample over to the Binance Smart Chain, and then you can start participating in any exchange or liquidity pools once you have it ported over um, onto BSC. So let's get right into it. So first you want to head over to the Ample Bridge, and I'll have all the web pages and links uh, provided in the description below. So once you get to the Ample Bridge uh, site, you're going to want to connect your MetaMask wallet. As you see, it's a pretty fast synchronization. Um, it's automatically going to recognize that you're connected to uh, mainnet. It will fill in the destination network, which is BSC, of course. You're going to want to click on the drop down menu here where it says please select token. Click on Ample. Um, I will be porting over, let's say, 300 Ample. You could submit any uh, quantity you want of Ample. Uh, the destination address uh, for those who don't know is basically the same address that you have for your MetaMask wallet, but just for just to be safe, I copied it, reconnect it, and I'll paste it here. So once that's done and you've pasted your destination address here in the field box, just go ahead and tap on uh, start transfer. Um, just as a quick disclaimer, uh, I know some of these rules may seem a bit uh, overwhelming or daunting or in fact intimidating to some extent um, but basically these are just temper plate um, statements that are letting you know just to double check everything that you do from here on out um, to avoid the loss of uh, the loss of your funds so once you go over those um, those bullet points just go ahead and click on start transfer it's going to send you to this uh, allowance page to just give permission or permission page to give permission for the Ample Fourth Bridge to spend your Ample and to begin the porting process. So, for demonstration purposes, I'll go ahead and make it a fast transaction. And this may take a few minutes to initialize the transfer, so we'll be right back. And once that permission transaction has been cleared and confirmed on the Ethereum mainnet, you're just going to have to pay the actual transaction fee. Um, again, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to make this a pretty fast transaction. So once you toggle with the gas fee, whatever is more appropriate for you and your budget, go ahead and click confirm. And now is where the magic happens. Let's wait for this uh, for our ample support over to BSC. We'll be right back. So we're back real quick, everyone. So once you get to step two, which reads in transit, as you can see down here, you're going to see a zero slash two or zero slash one signatories needed uh, on the bottom of the screen. Basically, what this is saying is that there are uh, two signatories that are um, confirming and signing this transaction. Right. Uh, so with the Ampliforth team, what they're trying to do is make this a multi sig and by adding more signatories to the contract. So um, just wanted to provide that information to you in case you were uh, just questioning what, what exactly is going on here. So as you can see, our Ample is still in transit uh, to the BSE chain. So let's give it one a couple seconds and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So as you can see, the ERC20 Ample has successfully transferred over or has been ported over to the Binance Smart Chain. We know that because we no longer see the in-transit module shown that was shown uh, previously on the bottom of the screen. Now, to add the token to your wallet, because if you were to check your MetaMask right now and your Binance Smart Chain wallet, I should say, right now you will not see that uh, token in your in your wallet, right? So let's add that token in there. So I'm going to go right ahead and transfer over to the smart uh, to the Smart Chain, and you're going to want to copy the Ample BSC contract so luckily i already have that and i'll also provide that for you in the description below so once you have that just head on over to pancake swap and once you get the pancake swap let's go to trade and exchange once you get to exchange uh bnb is already the default in the from box but now just go ahead and go to two 
And when you click on two, this is the token that we're trying to populate. So we already have the contract address copied. Let's paste it right there. And it would automatically populate it here. It's very similar to uh, adding a token to uh, Uniswap. So once this populates, it's going to say import. Just click on it and it'll add it to the bottom of uh, the exchange box. And just like that, if you were to go to your MetaMask wallet, you'll see that it's populated. It has been added to your smart chain wallet. So once you've successfully imported the Ample BSC token um, onto PancakeSwap as well as on into your, Meta, into your MetaMask wallet, let's go ahead and start adding liquidity and start earning some trading fees um, on PancakeSwap. So let's go to the liquidity tab, click on that. Obviously, we won't be in any uh, liquidity pools unless you already used PancakeSwap prior to this demonstration. Um, go ahead and click on add liquidity. Uh, the in both inputs uh, don't really matter because we'll be providing liquidity to the same pair. Um, for this instance, I'll be adding liquidity to the Ample BSC um, BNB pair. And I will be adding approximately $135, give or take. So that is about uh, point, point, uh, three seven, point three seven, uh, eight three BNB tokens. So that's uh, equivalent to about 126 Ample tokens at the time of this video. At the bottom, you'll see the percent of the pool share that, you, that you'll own once this token has been uh, created. Let's go ahead and click Approve. Click Confirm. Nine cents is incredibly fast and, and negligible. It just shows um, how efficient a pancake swap is, or at least a Binance Smart Chain is um, as of now. And let's just give it a moment for this um, approval transaction to go through. All right, so once that approval transaction has been confirmed, you're going to see the supply button populate. Let's go ahead and click supply. It's going to give you a receipt pop up here. Let's just click confirm. Click confirm. And if we really wanted to, we could check it out on the Binance Smart Chain. The transaction just like that has been successful. Let's go back here and click close. Now, if you were to go back and refresh the page under, under the liquidity tab, you're going to see that you have the BNB Ample Binance Smart Chain pair right in front of you. If you were to click it, it'll give you further details on exactly what are the holdings or the underlying tokens in this pair, or at least the amount that you provided liquidity for um, and the share of the pool that you own at the given time. So now say you want to add liquidity to a stable stablecoin Ample pair, similar to what we've seen in Uniswap with the Ample USDC pair. So basically we go back to the swap tab and we'll already have BNB uh, in the from uh, box. We're going to be exchanging BNB for BUSD, which is Binance's uh, native stablecoin. Um, I want to receive about 100 uh, BUSD uh, tokens. And this will automatically populate on the top box as well. Once you enter that, just go ahead and click swap, confirm swap. It's going to take you to the gas fee uh, page. Just go ahead and confirm it. It'll be done in about five seconds, 10 seconds tops. Once the transaction has been completed, you're going to see in the top portion that the swap has been successful. You, you could also go ahead and give it a second for it to refresh. And you'll see here, populate the balance after the exchange. So now let's go ahead and take these 100 uh, Binance uh, dollars or BUSD stable coins and provide liquidity to the Ample uh, BUSD pair. So let's go to liquidity. Of course, we just have, we just added liquidity to the Ample BNB pair, but now we want to add more liquidity to a different pool. So let's click on add liquidity. Click on select a currency. Let's click on BUSD and then the Ample BSC token. So from there, we're just gonna max out, at least I am. As you can see, it'll populate the proportion of value or the equivalent amount of, oops, of BUSD. It's the same process, we just wanna approve it. So let's go ahead and approve that, click Confirm. Once the approval transaction has gone through, go ahead and just click on Supply. It's gonna give you this receipt. Click Confirm Supply. And pay the gas fee so once the transaction has been completed as you can see my busd balance is zero 
But if we were to scroll down, you can see that I have about 12% of the pool and you will see the, uh, the value or the quantity uh, percent that you have for um, your share after you provide liquidity. And if we were to click on the back button, we'll see both of the new uh, LP tokens populate right here in the your liquidity box. And just like that, everyone, that's exactly how you port over your ERC20 Ample tokens over to BSC, and you can start adding liquidity onto PancakeSwap. Uh, I really hope this video helped you out, and you could start farming on PancakeSwap, or you can start adding uh, liquidity and maybe um, just start porting over some of your Ample over to uh, the BSC chain. I really hope you have fun with this. Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching.